Hey everyone and welcome to the channel. Today we're diving deep into the iceberg-sized mystery of the Titanic, but this ain't your grandma's disaster story. We're going beyond the sinking to explore the forgotten chapter. What happened to the survivors? Imagine it. You just escaped a freezing hellscape, watched hundreds perish, and now you're bobbing in a lifeboat, lost and alone. That was the harsh reality for the 705 souls, fortunate enough to escape the icy embrace of the North Atlantic on that fateful night when Titanic sank. But their ordeal was far from over. They were thrust into a spotlight, where they faced public scrutiny, accusations, and were subjected to endless inquiries. Some survivors like J. Bruce Ismay, infamously dubbed the coward of the Titanic, were ostracized, while others, like the indomitable Molly Brown, became unlikely heroes. Yet regardless of their public perception, they all carried an unseen burden. The trauma, the guilt, the grief. It stayed with them, a silent iceberg lurking beneath the surface of their lives. Before we dive in, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications to keep up to date with our updates. But amidst the darkness, there were flickers of resilience. Our survivors, the living memories of the titanic disaster, began the arduous task of picking up the pieces. Each one carried the weight of the tragedy, the echoes of the screams, and the icy chill of the Atlantic. But they didn't let it break them. Instead, they used it to forge a new path, a testament to the indomitable spirit of humanity. One such survivor was Violet Jessup, a stewardess and nurse on the ill-fated ship. Violet didn't just survive the Titanic, she went on to work on its sister ships, the Britannic and the Olympic. The Britannic was repurposed as a hospital ship during the First World War, and Violet served as a stewardess and nurse. Unfortunately, it also met a tragic end when it hit a mine and sank in the Aegean Sea. But guess who survived that sinking too? That's right, our very own Violet. Violet's experience, however, was not an isolated one. Many survivors found themselves grappling with the memories of that fateful night. Some penned memoirs, sharing their personal accounts of the disaster, Others form support groups, providing a safe space for survivors to share their experiences and feelings. These efforts helped them cope with their trauma and also preserved the memory of the Titanic for future generations. They didn't just survive, they thrived. They rebuilt their lives from the ruins, carrying the memory of the Titanic as a badge, a symbol of their resilience. They turned their tragedy into a source of inspiration, a reminder of the strength of the human spirit they refused to let the Titanic define them. Instead, they defined their own narrative, one of courage, hope, and survival. And Violet? She continued to work at sea for many years, finally retiring in 1950. She lived to a ripe old age of 83, her spirit as unbreakable as the day she first stepped onto the Titanic. A true testament to human resilience, Violet's story is a beacon of hope, proving that even in the face of overwhelming adversity, we can rise again. Talk about facing your fears. Even today, the legacy of the Titanic survivors lives on. Their tales, woven from the threads of courage and survival, continue to echo through the corridors of history, reaching out across the decades to touch our hearts and minds. Each story is a testament to the indomitable spirit of humanity, a beacon of resilience shining through the dense fog of tragedy. Through their memoirs and testimonies, we catch glimpses of their experiences, of the fear and the hope, the desperation and the determination that marked those fateful hours on the icy North Atlantic. Their words, etched in ink and memory, serve as a poignant reminder of the strength that lies within us all, even in our darkest hours. Their stories have found their way into the pages of countless books, resonating in the lines of poetry and echoing in the lyrics of songs. They have inspired documentaries that delve into the depths of that fateful night, uncovering the truths obscured by the passage of time. They have been immortalized in films, their experiences brought to life on the silver screen, etching a haunting tableau of survival against the odds. Their memories have even found a home in the world of video games, where players can step into the shoes of a titanic passenger and experience a digital reimagining of the events of that night. Through these immersive experiences, we gain a deeper understanding of the courage, the tenacity, and the sheer will to survive that defined the survivors of the Titanic. So next time you hear about the Titanic, remember the survivors. Remember their struggle, 
their resilience, and the lessons they taught us about the human spirit. Remember the enduring legacy they left behind, a legacy of hope and survival, of courage in the face of adversity, and of the strength of the human spirit. Because even in the darkest depths, there's always a flicker of hope, a lifeboat waiting to carry us through.